going to be painting my assault frigate here. I've got my Nebulon B over here for reference. It's not going to be painted ex exactly similar to the Nebulon B, although there's going to be a few things that I take from that and incorporate it into the assault frigate. I've already primed the assault frigate. Now, one thing I just wanted to show you really quickly was this is going to be the largest model that I've painted so far. And because of that, this doesn't just, I have been using the straws, the coffee straws, in order to hold the models as I paint them. I couldn't do this with this one because it uses the keyhole on this, the medium and large based ship um, stands from FFG. So what I've decided to do is I'm using the base actually, but in order to keep paint off of the base, I've been using a grocery bag. Putting the base inside the bag. And placing the model on top. That way I can paint the model without worry about worrying about getting paint on the base. I haven't painted my bases so far. I've seen both black and white ones. They look good. I like the clear at the moment. Maybe someday I will paint them, but for now, I like to keep them clear. So, I'm going to be painting this in a base of the Screaming Skull. I really liked how that turned out with the, um, the hammerhead that I did as a base. I think it'll look good here. So, you... Let's get started. Alright, I'm going to start the detail work in this. The first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to try something different. This is a paint pen from CraftSmart. I got this at a local craft store. I'm going to try and use this for some of the lining for the detail work. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to continue on with some detailing here. Here I'm going to be working on the front of both of these fins in the back. 
similar to the Nebulon B, and I'm going to be using Mechanicus Standard Gray. I'm not sure if you can read that or not, but it's Mechanicus Standard Gray. Okay, we're going to continue with some work that I believe the last video that I shot ended a little bit early, um, but I finished with the Mechanicus Gray, on the, mostly on the front here, a little bit on the tail. And I touched up a little bit of the base coat. Also, I just wanted to mention this paint pen. Um, did a great job with the lines, but it takes significantly longer than the other paints to dry. This has taken a long time to dry, um, but it worked well, so I'm definitely going to use it again. Just um, took a very long time to dry, and I'll have to be careful of that in the future. But we're going to go on with some Abaddon Black. I'm going to do this piece down here on both sides, similar to the same piece on the the Nebulon. Also do around the engines and I don't know, there's a couple of other detail spots here and there that I might do as well.
Now for some gnome oil. This is where I always think the magic happens. Now we're going to dry brush. I do expect the red lines to uh, get affected by this, but we're going to go back and touch up the red lines afterwards. All right, now I'm going to touch up the red lines with the paint pen again. We're almost done. I'm about to do some engine glow. 
but just wanted to mention the red lines after they dried were very bright so I I didn't uh, video it but I just went really lightly over with a little bit of the wash over the red lines just to tone them down a bit um, so far I'm liking it it's almost done I did I also went by went with some of the wash just to kind of darken up a few of the lines here and there where I thought it needed it the other thing about this model is the keyhole here where it sticks out and down I haven't really decided what to do with that yet I've just left it white for the most part right now um, if I were to paint my stands black I would probably paint it black if I were to paint my stands white I'd probably make it white but for now with the stands being clear I'm probably just gonna leave this white it's probably the least distracting I don't want to paint it the same color as the rest of the model um, I don't think that that would work either because it's not part of the model it's just a functional piece to make it work on the stand so we're gonna go and just put a little engine glow in there um, double check things see if there's anything else that needs some touch up and then uh, we're almost done that and some sealer All right, I just wanted to wrap up um, with the Assault Frigate. I'm pretty happy with the way it com came out. i um, just going to compare it to the, um, the stock Assault Frigate. I like it a lot better. I'm not a big fan of the FFG Assault Frigate. Um, and interestingly, so we call the generally everyone calls this the whale I'm calling this one the shark I think it bears a lot of resemblances to the shark to a shark it's got the uh, pectoral fins the large vertical tail the head actually looks like it has eyes looks very shark like the only thing it's missing is a dorsal fin and I prefer the shark to the whale the only thing that's a little bit odd about um, about because I'm gonna have to run this in place of the Assault Frigate Mark II. Um, the only because it's the only medium option for the Rebels at the moment. Um, but the Assault Frigate Mark II is a Sardar, side arc ship. This looks, I mean, it's very Nebulon B ish. It looks like a front arc ship to me. Um, so it won't exactly, it'll look a little odd filling its role, I think, but I'm still going to much prefer running this over this, just for looks. Um, I haven't gotten into running any special cards or anything like that. So I like that a lot. Now, just also wanted to compare it to the Nebulon B. Over, I mean, I, I think that this... Um, this Assault Frigate is more Nebulon B-ish than even Mel's modified Nebulon B. Um, I mean, the modified Nebulon B has the two, um, I'm calling them pectoral friends for the last lack of any better term, but it has the, the two, um, the two appendages off the front as opposed to the one on the Nebulon B. Um, but I, I did try and paint this a lot more Nebulon B-ish than anything. 
just because it bore so many resemblances to the Nebulon. Um, I am very much into Star Wars being the lived-in universe or the used universe, so I really like to go with that look in my painting, which means I like them to look dirty, at least on the Rebel side. The Imperial side, I think they can look cleaner because it goes with, <clears throat> you know, the theme of the movie. The Rebels, I do like them to look a little bit dirtier, more lived in, more functional. And I think I got that with this. Um, now, how much dirt do you actually pick up in space? I don't know. Is this also an in-atmosphere ship? It seems like most ships in the Star Wars universe actually are. So we can say that it has been in atmosphere and has picked up some grime there. Um, but I really like the whole lived-in universe thing with Star Wars. So that's what I go after, especially with my Rebel ships. Um, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a th thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm going to be posting more videos, both painting videos. I am working on camera angles and trying to figure out a few demonstration videos for gameplay. Um, I've done a couple of trial runs of it. I just haven't gotten my camera angles the way that I really want yet. But hopefully that's coming in the future. I've got um, another project lined up that isn't necessarily Armada related, but it is game related and will work for Armada and that will be coming very soon. So subscribe, hit the bell so that you get notifications when I upload stuff. Um, working on my video techniques, so hopefully things will get better as we go and you'll keep watching. Thank you very much.